Welcome in to the new members and to the old members that have found their way back to the community. I need you just as much as you need me. In this morning update, we're going to go over how XRP went up to 60, just over 66 cents. And now we're back testing that 63.7 cents area we talked about last night. We talked about if XRP was going to have a continuation here, we should have a volatile, even if we have a push back down, we should be able to hold 63.7 cents if in fact we're going to continue on our way here. But how we should be able to bounce off of the 63.7 cents, and we put it in yesterday, if you were in during the live, we talked about how if we were going to back test, we had to hold that 63.7 cents. And right now we're trying to back test, but we've come down. If you're watching in the overnight hour, maybe you went to sleep and you're like, well, what the hell? We're at 663, and right now we've back tested about 4%. Now, we need to hold that 63.7 cent area ultimately to be that new uptrending support and then be able to carry us out of here. That's what we're trying to do. And then if you look at the ascending formation that is starting to be built, I mean, I think it's pretty clear what's starting to happen here. Um, I made these bigger just so it was easier to see, but let me put these back down to two just so it's not over taking over too much of the screen. But th this is exactly what is trying to be... Um, finished off right now so if we break out here we have to break out of this ascending formation bullishly and this will bring us up to 75 cents if we break out of this bullishly we'll break out to 75 cents if we break down our first area to retest here is about 62 65 right now on that um handle resistance slash support right now so we are still in this inverted pattern until this were to break down this is still very bullish we had the left arm, the head, the right arm, and now we're attempting to break out. So it's kind of boom, ba boom, ba boom, bam. Now we're back testing. This is very critical if we're going to have a continuation here. We've got to not only back test, but we've got to hold that 60. It's like 63 point. It's not like it is 63.7 cents ultimately is what we need to hold. And then if we can hold that area, we should be able to have a very nice continuation here. But this is absolutely the back test this morning that we talked about yesterday at 63.7 cents that we need to hold. Even if we were to have a little bit of a rally, we needed to hold that on a back test. And that's what we're trying to do right now. And it's a volatile one because after going up, it was more than a 4% drop to get back here. Um, now, this could open up a bearish opportunity if we fall below these levels, which we will talk about that as well. But as of right now, I'm still looking at it from the bullish perspective. And let's see if we can hold. Now, the one thing I will say this morning that should be on everybody's minds is Wales shifted 46 million XRP during a big sell-off. Big sell-off from their wallets back to their exchanges. So now we've had a 46 million XRP sell-off by Wales shifting back and getting rid of them. So what does that mean? Is this more part of Pushing that price up artificially so that the whales can make a little bit of money on the, you know, on the way back down. Is this something more with Ripple? Or is this just the end of this rally up? Whenever I start seeing whales selling, I don't necessarily like to see when it's being loaded to the exchanges. What I like to see is 46 million XRP go from exchange Bitso to unknown wallet. That's what I like to see. That's telling me that they're shifting or any kind of wallet. They're shifting their tokens from an exchange to a wallet in anticipation of price appreciation. When I see them shifting it from an exchange or from a cold wallet or an unknown wallet back onto an exchange and multiple ones at that, which we'll go through in the reading, that tells me they're looking for price depreciation and that's exactly what's happening right now. So overnight they sold off at 65, 66 cents and depending on where they bought it from and how much they had, that's a lot of money being shifting hands. A lot of money shifting hands. So we'll go over everything there is to know about XRP. We'll go over Bitcoin as it's hanging on to the 70,000 handle now. As we know from yesterday on a consolidation, Bitcoin could come all the way back down and still be bullish, but we went left shoulder, head, right shoulder bounce, right? And now if we do a consolidation, you should come down to like 68,000. That's what we talked about yesterday if we were in fact squeezed right now. And that would just mean boom, boom, and then you can go out. Or as long as you ride this uptrend, then you can try to push out. Or you just get rejected when you get up there because we speculated, as I circled down here, 
the technical target 73,621 on a hold of that 60,690. All this area did was confirm the higher low. That's all. Now we have a series of higher low, higher low. If this comes back down, higher low. So right now we're looking exactly where we want to. Now by this kind of consolidation though, if this were to come back down to 67,900 and have a 2,400 point drop, I highly doubt XRP would hold 63.7 cents. And more likely, if that scenario played out, you would at least come down to 625. That's just my opinion. But we'll look at XRP in the whole scale. We'll look at Bitcoin as we've had a nice consolidation here. And we'll see the new little support areas that could have formed as well. And then we'll get through the reading of the um, whales that have put $42 million back to sale. Or $42 million plus XRP. They took from unknown wallets back onto the exchanges and ended up selling. So that's how we had a nice little price depreciation here, a correction. All we're doing right now is retesting at 63.7 cents. If that holds, this is 100% bullish. If you are watching this, please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube recommends this update on this Tuesday morning. By you hitting that like button and YouTube recommending this update, it'll allow us to be scrolled through in the feeds on YouTube. So if you go on YouTube, you're scrolling through your feed, you'll see my content and then you'll be more likely to click on it. If you don't see the content, it's out of sight, out of mind. So you'll help not just new viewers, but old viewers as well find their way back home by hitting that like button. So YouTube recommends this. So with that being said, I'm going to do the intro and then we're going to get into this. Good morning, 1020 AM Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday, March 26th, 2024. I'm XRP future millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So let's start off with some good news. We've got XRP Healthcare right now. Depending on which exchange you look at, because the pricing is slightly different. On Maxi, it's up about 20% on the day at 3507. But on the other exchange, it's up 11.5% because it had already had a slight movement going into the next candle. So... But right now, XRP Healthcare is looking fantastic. This is one we've talked about for the better part of a couple of weeks now. Maybe not a couple of weeks. When this drop happened, March 17th. Well, fortunately, I wasn't going to buy any more yesterday. But when it was around the 2.7 area, I ended up buying my $30 more. So this was the first one that I bought when it was over 2.48. So I did buy it at 2.8 roughly. Uh, the $30 a day. I decided to buy it yesterday when it was in that area. I, I couldn't help it. I just decided to add more. So I'm at like 22,000 something tokens. And now that we're going to back test, if you're looking to ride this, what you're looking for right now is if we do get a back test here at about 2.9. That's why I thought 2.8 was a good spot because even if it falls below my 2.8, then I can start buying it on the way back down to here. And then I'm going to be very happy. So... But as it is, right now we're attempting our first real breakout in about 10 months, 9 months, or whatever it's been so far. So if you're looking for XRP Healthcare, in the video description below and our pinned comments, if you can use Maxi, that's where I buy this. I'm searching on a diff couple different exchanges for the USA, um, and I'll get back to everybody on that. But as of right now, if you are part of Maxi or if you have a VPN that you use, Max C does offer this. I know some people from the USA are signed up from when we used to use this last year before they got rid of us. But if you're already a user, you can still trade this on there without a VPN. So just consider that if you already have an account open. Or if you're somebody from across the pond and you want to open it, just go for it. But there is going to be a consolidation here at some point. There has to be. We have to retest this breakout point around 2.9 cents. And the reason why I've been so excited about this recently, not only is it only 100 million total circulating supply, there's uh, 34 million in or uh, 54 million already in circulation, but for the first time in a very long time on this um, monthly candle, we showed signs of a true reversal. And now it's starting to squeeze up. And if we were to close this monthly up here, we'd have a nice, you know, um, engulfing candle here in the monthly. But it's the first chance we have to try to make a breakout towards that 5.8 cents, and it's come down all the way from up near 20 cents, 18 cents on this exchange. So it just depends where you look at it, but it's come down a lot. So just pay attention to that. I'll keep everybody updated later on today in the live with that as well. But I figured I would at least show the back test that should be coming there. With XRP at 63.5 cents, we're now below 
That's 63.7 cents. So remember what I was saying. If we come below 63.7, then you're going to have to retest more than likely if we have a drop here. First area is going to be back down. Man, oh man, this could find its way right back down to where we're at if it, if it goes any farther. So right now we're trying to hold this formation. If we don't hold this formation, which it doesn't look like we are, we can get a very simple target here. And we're just going to use it from the smaller target here. And this is unfortunate. If we break down, XRP is looking for a drop down to 606. And then that obviously puts us back down. If this happens, below that 625 resistance and we're back within the handle. And if it breaks from here, this, this does nothing to help us get rid of this. We're trying to invalidate this head and shoulders pattern is the bottom line. If this breaks down from here, it's only validating more right shoulder. So we really need to find some buyers here. If we want to avoid a bigger drop, we're on the cusp right now of breaking out of this very key support area, unfortunately. And we talked about yesterday with the news we had. Initially, I was very bullish for it going up, but we talked about the 66, 67 cent area, if that could break through. Right now, it hasn't. Right now, again, we got a resistance at that 67 cent area, which seems to be a very big area for us to get past. We have not been able to. And now we've drawn a technical target down to 606 if, in fact, this breaks down. The fact we fell below 63.7 cents does not make me comfortable right now. We still need to hold at worst 625. So even though we came through here, you could still hold 62.5 cents. Right about, here, actually 627. We could still hold 62.7 cents, which is the handle support now since we've pushed out. But if we do break down below that, we know we're coming down to 606 because that's the ascending formation breakdown target. It's the problem with these patterns when they start forming an ascending formation. These are oftentimes bearish reversals. It didn't show this until last night. It didn't hint at this until yesterday. So now all of a sudden this pattern's in. I'm doing the update this morning. And I'm showing everybody on the fly exactly what this means. We could have a minor bearish momentum here. And then we have to see if we can figure it out at 608 if we fall down there. Or if that's going to end up starting the continuation down to 50 cents that we speculated on if we couldn't get up to 75. Anytime you get back below 63, now it's 627. And you're below that handle resistance. At any time... And this is why I say I'm cautiously optimistic because at any time this pattern can shift. At any time if you're below that very critical, right now it's 627 in today's terms, you come down here at any time you can come down to the bottom of the handle support. That's the problem with left shoulder, head, right shoulder. If it doesn't alleviate and break up, that means you can break down and then this entirety of this pattern is validated. And then you'd come down here. So I were being cautiously optimistic. I would love to see it break up and the technical target to be fulfilled. But the bottom line is, is we've never even come up there yet. We haven't back tested this until now. So now the back test, is it failed? Is this an overzealous breakthrough? But I'm focusing on that target, on that chart so everybody can see the repercussions of a breakdown. Now, if you look at it from this perspective, we've talked about this. If this formation gave way, so to do, to do, to do, little fake out, and then if it gives way, you come back down, you might have to come all the way back down there to the uptrending support. And what have we said before? Up to support, up to support, up, never came to support yet, up. Now, would it come back to support here? Because you came close here, but now we can see you started some kind of uptrend here. So we can even. Well, we've decided to do it from the other area, but you could actually look at it in a different way because we did come down, came up. Now, if you hit here, it's just another tap, tap, tap. And now that you've got the evidence in front of us, we can actually evolve this pattern properly. And it's actually nice that we get to do this together because when you can evolve it and then you can see exactly what's playing out, trust me, it makes it a lot easier to recognize. See what happened here? It gave us evidence last night of this. This is all it did last night. Now you can kind of clean this up. Now the uptrending support, downtrending resistance, and unless it breaks out in a very quick fashion where this uptrend 
plays out. Actually, it's not even right there. I would I would dare say you start a little bit farther over. Because what this is going to do, by this breaking down like this, if in fact it does, it's going to end up switching uh, the technical move. And it's actually, if it holds this consolidation, it's going to be a greater move now. I'm just not sure if it's going to be able to hold this first uh, set of uh, support. If not, you come back to the bottom. And like we said, there is a history of it. When you come back over here, there is a history of it, of this pattern volatilely coming down. So up to the uptrend, up to the uptrend, big consolidation to the uptrend if it does happen like that. That'd be the third time. We can see a much more unified pattern here as well. And the fact that this is kind of like a rising channel, it looks like a head and shoulders to start. I mean, if it breaks this uptrend, I'd be very surprised if we don't come back down and try to retest that area. However, let's just say worst case scenario that happens. I mean, you're going to have a pretty lengthy bounce up if this does happen and you do this correctly. But that's how you open up the pattern. This is how the pattern opened up with the evidence we had last night. And this is how you can get the entirety of this uh, formation. This is a very much consolidatory formation right now. We need to get over this area where that uptrending support is. We need to hold 637 somehow, some way. Um, we could actually say it's a little bit lower than 637, but it's basically 63. If you want to even give it credit, 636. But right now we need to get back on top of this range. Otherwise, we're just going to fall through, like I said. And if you do fall through, and you've got to actually retest this properly, and we do go back down to the bottom of the zone. For anybody going long right now, we talked about if you couldn't get past 66, 67 cents, that could be a problem. And now if it does come back down to the bottom of the pattern, this could be a 13% drop here. XRP has not invalidated the thesis but as we said yesterday, if you couldn't hold 63.7 and then last ditch effort at 62.7, this is invalidated. And then you might have to come down lower and lower and lower. So we'll see exactly how far that is. I'm only focusing on XRP right now. I'll do a small bit of Bitcoin. We did XRP healthcare, but you need to pay attention to what I just showed in this update because the bottom line is if, and this is a very big if, it's not a guarantee if we lose that 637 and get confirmed here and especially break down below that 62.7 cent handle resistance as support right now and it turns back into a resistance, we very well could be facing a 13% drop to 55 cents here if we can't get out of this pattern. So just pay attention to that. I come in here every single day with an open mind. I don't look at something with the motion and force it to go my way. If we do need to correct, this is how it happens. First bad sign is we broke below 637, the new pivot support on that inverted cup and handle. I mean, the inverted head and shoulders neckline, but it's not all lost yet because you could actually bring the neckline down a little bit farther to about 627 even, maybe a little bit farther. But as of right now, you really wanted to hold 637. XDC right now is up 6.67%, which is great to see. Um, it came up to our 5.5 resistance. It's just, we talked about it yesterday. That's why I put the line up there. And then we talked about, is it going to consolidate within that range? It came up perfectly to what we were talking about last night in the live. So now we have to see, does it consolidate between that range and 4.9 cents? And then with Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin is completely broken down as we said at the beginning of this live exactly what was going to happen i wasn't sugarcoating it the fact we rotated down if we lose this 20 day now we know we've got to come all the way back down to this uptrend that's a pretty big drop here ladies and gentlemen as i said you could be looking at a three thousand point drop very quickly here this morning if that happens i found it very hard to believe that xrp could hold its area and this is exactly what's happening i'm going to release this update if you got anything out of this, please make sure to hit that like button so that YouTube will recommend this update. If you appreciate my work, hit that subscribe button. If you're going to try to trade XRP, especially if we have a big volatile swing here, as we're about to bust very major support here on the handle, if it happens, make sure you have an exchange that you can trade XRP on in the USA with the lowest leverage and spot trading fees. And it's BitUnix. It's in the video description below and our pinned comments. Um, you don't need to use a KYC 
unless you transfer from a um, bank account or off to a bank account. And there is no VPN required at all. So consider that. If you appreciate what I do, consider sending one YouTube super chat per month as we're approaching the end of the month. Or consider joining Tom's Army to pay it forward. But please hit that like button so YouTube recommends this live. Pay very close attention to what I said in this update as I am trying to alert you that this could be the beginning of a nice little downturn here of about 13 to 15% now that we busted through major support areas.